Close your eyes. Focus on your breath. You don't have to pay attention to anything else. You want to work on this. You want to get the mind trained. As the Buddha said, there are four qualities you need to bring for the practice to succeed. And the first one is desire. You have to want to do it. And to want to do it, you have to remind yourself, what happens to your life when your mind isn't trained? When you give rise, when you give free rein to your greed or your anger or delusion, or you just let anything that pops into your head come out your mouth. What happens? What kind of life is that? It's a huge mess. So you realize you've got to get the mind under control. If you want to have, so you're not adding a lot of extra trouble to life, which is there's enough trouble in life as it is. You don't have to pile on anymore. And so you can realize that you can make a difference by training your mind. And once you have that sense of desire, then the next step is to stick with it. Use your persistence. Just hang in there. The squirrel may be chirping away, but that's the squirrel's business. There may be sounds off in the orchard, but that's not your business right now. Your business right now is to stay right here. Stick with it. If your mind wanders off, just bring it back. If it wanders off ten times, a hundred times, bring it back ten times, a hundred times. You have to show that you're really serious. At the same time, the third quality is paying full attention to what you're doing. You don't just go through the motions. We're not here just to perform a little ceremony and have it done. We're really trying to look into our mind and understand what's going on there. Why does the mind keep doing things and thinking things and saying things that later cause trouble? got to pay careful attention. Where, where is it that the mind goes wrong? And where does it go right? You want to see that, too. If all you see are the wrong things, you get discouraged. But you got to appreciate the right things as well, what does work. And if you see that something doesn't work, then that, that's the fourth quality, is you use your ingenuity. You try to analyze things to figure out exactly what could you change, and then use your ingenuity to come up with a new way of acting. So it works, this works with the breath, it works with the meditation. These four qualities actually apply to every activity in life. You want to succeed, succeed at anything. You have to have the desire to do it, see that it's going to be a good thing to do. You have to stick with it, use your persistence. They've done an analysis that shows the difference between people who are just good at something and people who are really good at something largely is not so much a matter of talent, it's just the amount of time they put in, but not just time. The third quality, you pay attention to what you're doing. See what's working, see what isn't working. And then when you've analyzed it down, that's the fourth quality, then you can come up with new ways of doing things that get even better and better. So the same principles work inside the mind as work outside the mind as well. If you want if you want to succeed in any particular activity in life, you've got to have these four qualities. The desire, the persistence, paying attention, and using your ingenuity. And that way you can come out with the life that you want. Because it does lie within our power. There are lots of things that we can't control in life. You can't tell your body to stay young and strong forever. You can't tell your things not to get old. You can't tell your friends that they have to stay with you. But you can tell your mind what to do, and you can train it. And that makes a huge difference right there. The Buddha called this real this realization heedfulness, that the mind can cause a lot of danger but can also do a lot of good. You train it to do the good, then you've got a real treasure inside, a real friend inside. And that's a lot better than friends outside. Because this friend inside sticks with you all the way to your dying day and even beyond. So make sure you've got your mind on your side. And that way, whatever you want to achieve in life, well, it's a good chance it will succeed. To whatever sense it does lie within your power, you want to make sure that your powers are working toward your success and not away from your success. So try to keep these four qualities in mind.